All right. So, Joshua, how's it going? Doing pretty good, pretty good. All right, so I have my coworker Joshua here. Hello. And we're going to do some debating about, you know, whatever you want. Okay, so, um, yeah, so why don't you go ahead and start off, tell me about your uh, religious views. Uh, religious views, uh, raised Catholic, so I was uh, baptized and then confirmed in my faith. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't practice it uh, how it should be. Like I like I don't really go to church. I fo I follow the the I'm spiritual in the faith, but I don't follow it um, rigidly. Yeah, rigidly. Strictly. Yeah. Okay. Whereas like uh, my sister went to a Christian school, even though she was raised Catholic. My parents go to a Christian church, even though they're Catholic. But well, Christian Catholic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see the point, but, but. Okay. But yeah, I've, I've never been one to uh, go that route. Mm -hmm. Um, do you really believe that, you know, there's a God? I think so. But, I mean, even though there's no way to scientifically prove? Yes, yes. Even though it sounds ridiculous. I mean, I remember we were talking about the wafers and stuff. And you know, like, do you really believe that? there's a kind of magic that happens when you eat a wafer or drink that specific wine that it turns into the body I mean like mm, come on. Of blood. Come it on. sounds ridiculous but it's, it's you got to take it on faith no no you don't. <laughs> no you don't there are plenty of other people there are plenty of other people who who don't you know so why not just like why not just stop wouldn't it be easier it would be but it's not about it easy. <laughs> yeah, but but there's so many other things you could be doing with your life besides like memorizing the Bible, you know. But I mean, it's not about like that's the thing. Like I don't really memorize the Bible. Like I'll read it, and there's maybe a quote that I like, but it's not like I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be quoting the Bible at you. Like oh, mm. you're sinning. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I just think it's a waste of time to to even preach to other people, to, to go to church. Like, are you planning on going to... How, how often do you go to church? Not often at all. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Not often. That's good. But I think everybody needs some type of religion. No. I, I, like, they need something. No. Yeah. Even, no. Even though, because I do understand, like, your perspective, like, getting rid of religion would probably solve a lot of problems. But some people need it, either the community or the structure of it. Goodness. Yeah, people need to believe in something. No, no, goodness. I mean, imagine how much, like, it would free up so much time for you to learn other things. You know, you could study math or science, you know. I set, a, I set aside time for everything. It's important to learn. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, learning is good, yeah. So like even with uh, even though I'm Catholic, I like to learn about different religions like uh, Buddhism, Taoism, different types of religions. And then like again, that. you know, learning about religions that's kind of a waste of time. You know? <laughs> I, find, I find it fun. Uh, I mean, you're so good at eh, anyway. Um, okay, so let's see. So do you would you call yourself? Uh, a Democrat or a Republican or Independent? I'd probably have to go with Independent. Why? Come on, man. I mean, because at the end of the day, I feel like it's just a categorization. Like, my whole thing is, you got to help the people. That's that's my view. Like, both parties, Democrats and Republicans, they both have agendas. And one's a good one, one's a good agenda, <laughs> one's a not so good agenda, right? They both have things that are bad. They both and have the things that are good. And then the, the independents are the same, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, independents have agendas, right? Yeah. Okay. But to me, my whole thing, like, I just don't like picking, like, I'm registered, I'm a registered Democrat. Okay. But that's just because, you know, you, you got to be registered to actually vote in the primaries and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, but... In terms of, like, political beliefs, it'll always go up and down. Regardless of who's ever in power, their policies, that'll change. 
But so your policies are going to change. So at first you said that you you got to help the people, yeah. but then you're saying, but well, I can change. You know, that's what politicians do. For for I'm me, I'm talking about you. for for me. That that would be something that doesn't change. Like that's the one thing I always look for. Like regardless of the party, like is this person trying to help the people genuinely, not to further an agenda? The agenda is to help people. Why do you use that word that's with a negative connotation? Because for most politicians, it is a negative connotation. Oh my goodness! Cause it's you, the people that matter. It's the people that matter. Yes. Okay, so I don't know what image you have of politicians. I don't know. I mean, like, have you one. been have you <laughs> been watching the good politicians like Bernie Sanders? I mean, yeah, but even Bernie, you have that cloud of the whole sexual harassment and the culture. Where the heck are you getting your news? <laughs> I'm just saying. Where are the, you, the where allegations are, you getting your are out there? <laughs> the allegations are out there. So like, no politician is squeaky clean. Oh my goodness! Look, it's not like that was. Like it's. It's how they say uh, uh, a it's lie. Not, a lie of omission is still a lie, even if he didn't know. He should still be responsible for not knowing, since it was his campaign. So you're calling that a lie of omission? Not well. That's if just if a he saying. didn't. If you don't. All right. So then, don't use <laughs> sayings, okay? When you're talking to me, because we're on the record, okay? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna quote you and hold you to what whatever you say. Okay. All right. Um. All right. What about? Uh, on fin uh, fiscal issues, are you fiscally conservative or fiscally liberal? Uh, now, do you want, for example, do you want to help the the people by taking away aid, taking away government programs? No, I, I think government programs are actually beneficial. Really? Mm -hmm. But that puts you on the left. Are you sure you want to be fiscally? On the left, I mean, that means you might have an agenda of, like, helping poor people with government programs. But poor people are still people. We're in the category of helping people. Yeah, but you're going to be taxing other people to help poor people. I mean, how can you Because most of the defend? time, like, they're not really poor people. Like, they're poor, but when people say poor, you assume it's, like, either they're not working or... Um, some other issue regarding like they're lazy. That's right, the view that most right. people have. My view when I most say, conservatives. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, but for me, I always think of it as more of either the whole immigration issue that we have, mm -hmm. refugees, stuff like that. These are people that need the help that technically are, will be labeled as poor, and we all are grouping all the poor people together. But there's categories within the poor, where it's people that can't really. They don't have a choice. They probably don't even want to be here, mm -hmm. but they have to because, you know, either civil war or war torn uh, issues in their nations prevent yeah. them from being, you know, uh, be able to be successful. So in terms of that, I feel the government programs are actually beneficial. But when mm -hmm. you look at the news most days, you're think, thinking it's, a, oh, these people are lazy. They just don't want to work. I mean, if you watch Fox News all day, conservative news outlets, that's the impression that they'll try to yes. give you. All right. I just want to make make it clear that I don't think it's a both sides kind of thing. Okay, I believe that one side is actually the good people, and the other the other side tends to deceive. And, and yeah. Um. Let's see. Let's talk about. Have you been? Hmm. Let me see. What do, what do you want to talk about? We have disagreements on st some stuff, right? That's what I really want to get into. Let me see. Uh... <laughs> uh, our main thing is always on emotions. <laughs> yeah, because, because I, I say stuff like it's not possible to scientifically prove mm -hmm. that a person is or is not feeling an emotion. Mm -hmm. Right? And so what do you think about that? I think emotions are important. Is it possible to scientifically prove that person's feeling an emotion? Nope. But emotions exist. There's no contradiction between those two statements. That's right? correct. So, yes. <laughs> so repeat after me. It's not possible. It's not possible. For a person to... It's not possible to scientifically prove... It's not possible to scientifically prove... That a person is or is not feeling an emotion. That a person is or is not feeling an emotion. All right. Now, 
But, I mean, you can see studies on the brain. Whenever you feel something, certain parts of your brain light up. Like, they've, seen, they've shown studies on Alzheimer patients who have gotten all type of cognition, but they hear a certain type of music and it stimulates their emotion and they feel what they felt when they listened to the music. They claim to feel that, right? It's shown. Like, you've seen videos. No, of... no, no. The, the parts, certain parts of the brain light up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the patient claims to feel certain things or, or not feel certain things. All right. I just want to make it clear because you already agreed with me that it's not possible to scientifically prove. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you can, you can talk about those, those studies, but, you know, that would be a different, a separate conversation. Um... I mean, the technology is not there right now. I don't believe the technology is currently available. Um, all right. Um, one more thing I wanted to go through with you is, you know, my rules of debate that I came up with, you know, because I believe, like, the first rule of logical debate is that you have to, um, you have to debate logically. And that means trying to convince your opponent that your views are logical true and logical right mm -hmm. and and sometimes you know people give up on each other too quickly and that's against the rules in my view all right and um, and then my second my second rule is to maintain that your views are logical until you change your mind and change your mind only for logical reasons all right okay so that goes back to what you were saying before, like, I just want to make sure that we're straight, straight on this. When you say that politicians can change, you know, and you're, you, you can't, you can't imply that you yourself would easily just change your mind for any old reason, right? Is, is that an okay rule? Do you think, do you think it's a, mm. a fine rule that you have to maintain that your own views are logical until you change your mind? And only change your mind for good logical reasons. Yeah, that's a good view. But like, um, in terms of like with the whole politician thing, like if you happen to be a politician, you have to be open to change. Like, if it makes sense with the whole uh, logical reason, but I'm not saying you you like just to um, appease people that you change your mind. But like, if you're like most of the time when I say if they change their mind, just because there's a growth. Because I would imagine you wouldn't hold on to the same views when you're younger to the... Uh, um, unless older. it's logical. Unless it's a logical view, right? But, like, let's say, like, when you're younger, you don't have to worry about certain things as opposed to when you're older. You know, your interests change. Nothing to do with logic. It's just, like, you, your... What you care about changes. All right. Well, we wouldn't have to get into the specifics in order to talk about that. All right. But, yeah, that's enough for now.